Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, we will be showing you Sheen, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to order items on Sheen. So you might be new to Sheen and you're wondering, how do you start ordering your items? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Sheen app. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here in the main UI, what we need to do first is we need to make sure that we are currently logged in. Now in this case, at the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on the Meet tab. And usually at the top left, you should see a sign in or sign up button. In this case, go ahead and click on it for you to log in into your account or sign up into Sheen. Now once you've done that or once you have an account in Sheen, let's go ahead and go to Home Page. Now in the Home Page, you should be able to see recommended items in your Sheen app. Now, depending on your purchases or previous purchases, you'll be able to get different items here or different suggestions. But if you want to search for a specific item, you can go to category or go to the search bar at the top section of your screen. Like for example, we'll be searching for polos. So let's go ahead and click on the search bar. Just type in polo, press on enter. Now from here, it's going to search or give you suggestions or uh, items that you want to buy. So in this case, maybe I want to buy this first item here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to view the details for it. Now, the depending on the items, they have a different type of colors, sizes. Like for example, this one has uh, black, gray, brown, and navy blue. They also have the sizes here for small, medium, large, and extra large. Now if you want to check your size, just click on check my size here at the top right of the size section, and you should be able to see different details about the sizes itself. In this case, you should be able to enter your height as well as your weight, and they would actually give you a recommendation on what type of shirt that you should buy here. In this case, you should be also be able to see a different uh, information about it, like the return policy, COD policy, and a lot more. You also have the description here if you want to read it through it, and the size guide if you want to view how to get your proper sizing. Now, in this case, you also have the review section, which is something really important just to, just to make sure that you're getting the best out of your uh, specific purchase here. Now, for example, there's going to be a lot of reviews here, like 1,000 plus here. Now, if you want to view all the uh, reviews, you can go and just click on the view all option. Now, you have uh, different options to view it. Like, for example, if you want to get that like, quilt purchase, no smell, color difference, a lot more, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to sort this one, like, for example, to the most recent to all this, or if you want to filter it further, you could choose uh, how, what star, or what rating that they uh, actually got. Like, you also filter it by picture. Now, so let's just go back in here. Now, for example, we want to purchase this. Let's, in this case, let's go and choose our color. So, in this case, I'll be using black. And for example, I'm going to get large. Now from here, let's go and click on add to cart. Now it's going to add that into, uh, in our cart. And from here on, what we need to do is visit our cart. So at the top section, let's go and click on the cart. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose the products that we want to check out. In this case, you can go and click on the check icon or check circle next to the item itself for you to include it in your checkout. But if you want to include all the items on a specific shop, you can go ahead and click on the check circle next to the shop name itself so in order for you to select all the items within that store now once you've done that let's go and click on checkout now from here it's going to ask you to enter different details about yourself like for example your address your shipping method and your payment now in this case if you haven't added your address go ahead and just click on the address section or add address section and you should be able to enter your address in this case, the shipping method here, if it's by default, is going to be free for some users. So in this case, you'll be able to leverage that. Also, you have the payment methods here, which in this case, you'll be able to choose what payment method that you want to use. So for example, cash and delivery, Gcash or credit card, PayPal, GrabPay here. So the payment methods here would actually vary depending on where you're currently located. Now, in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to see a different details of it, like for example, retail tie, price, subtotal, shipping fee, and a lot more. Also, if you want to apply vouchers or gift cards, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on gift card. Just enter the card number and the pin for it and click on apply. Now, for vouchers, you should be able to visit the voucher page here by clicking on it. In this case, you should be able to enter the voucher code here and just click on apply. And from here, you could also choose the available vouchers for this specific purchase. As you can see, I already got the 20% off here in this section. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do next is just basically review it. Now, make sure that the items are correct here, the items that you'll be buying, the shipping fee, the shipping guarantee here, retail price here. And once you're sure, just hit on continue. 
And from here, all we need to do is we just need to proceed on the payment section. So if you've chosen, like for example, credit or debit card or Gcash, it would redirect you to another page. But in this case, we just need to complete the whole payment process. Again, it would depend on the uh, bank or the payment method that you've chosen on how you actually uh, pay, start paying for it. So in this case, let's just go back into Sheen. So for example, if we choose the option for like paying a via card, you need to enter your card details. Now, by the way, uh, as you can see, I already have my uh, item here. It, I already have it checked out. I just need to complete the payment method. So let's just go back into, our, into that page here. So for example, if you choose like credit or debit card here, you should be able to uh, basically just enter your card details. So that includes the card number, the expiry date and CVV. So once you've done that, you can just click on place order and you should be able to start or you should be able to pay for the product itself and you just need to wait and monitor the order itself. How to order in Sheen's cash on delivery. So I'll be making this as quick as I, I can here because this is actually a pretty easy thing. So first thing, th first we need to open up our Sheen mobile app here and basically log in into our account. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose items that we want to actually buy. So for example, maybe I want to buy this t-shirt here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, maybe I want to uh, get the shirt here, just an example. So let's go ahead and choose this one and let's go ahead and click on add to cart. Now in this case, let's go ahead and choose the color that we want to get. And from here, click on the size they want to use and click on add to cart. Now the top section, let's go and click on the cart at the top. And from here, you should be able to see your cart. In this case, go ahead and choose all the items that you want to uh, basically uh, check out. So in this case, I'll be only choosing this uh, type of t-shirt. Let's go and click on check out at bottom section. Now, as you can see, I already have a partial uh, set up on my account here. So you need to enter your address and enter a bunch of details here as well. Now, in this case, at the payment method section here, as you can see, I actually have cash on delivery. I also have the different pay payment methods here, which includes GHash, credit or debit, PayPal or GrabPay. Now, in this case, you should be also be able to apply vouchers or gift cards if you want to. But the most important section here is the cash on delivery section. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, why do I have the cash on the reach section in here? Well, the problem here is depending on where you're currently using Sheen, like for example, if you're using it in the Philippines, cash on delivery is actually available and it's actually a payment method that you could use in that specific region or country. Now, if you're using it in a different country, sometimes cash and delivery will not be available to you. So meaning you have to pay for everything in advance. So meaning there is no cash delivery, delivery on some regions. Now, in this case, if you don't have or if you don't see cash on delivery here, there's no way for us to get cash on delivery unless you leave or you, you are using a the Sheen app on a different region and you actually have an address on that region that actually will be able to receive your product and pay for it via cash on delivery. Uh, to get free shipping on Sheen. So there are actually two known ways for you to get, get free shipping on Sheen. So one of the first way for you to get your free shipping in Sheen is being a new customer on Sheen. So it's actually pretty easy. So usually when you go to Sheen and sign up, they'll be giving you a voucher that you could use for you to basically uh, get free shipping. Now in this case, you could go ahead and use that for your first time order. But sometimes if you've already used up your first time uh, user uh, discount or free shipping here in Sheen, it might be kind of hard to get those uh, free shipping. But in this case, it's actually pretty simple to get the uh, uh, free shipping for Sheen here. So what you need to do here is just make sure that whenever you're checking out on Sheen is you are actually ordering a uh, $10 or more purchase. Now, in this case, once you've added your items in your cart, usually they will give you an option or a pop-up there that uh, says that you're eligible for free shipping. Now, in this case, since I've already added my items here and it's already above $10, the items that I included on my card, what we need to do here, just click on the card icon at the top right. And from here, what we need to do is choose all of the necessary items that you want to buy. And in this case, we have these two items here. And as you can see at the top left of my screen, we have the shipping free. 
So in this case, it is actually free standard shipping. Now in this case, what we need to do is just basically proceed with the checkout process here and you should be able to enjoy your free shipping here on Sheen. How to get Sheen clothes for free. So in this case, you're looking for ways to actually get Sheen clothes for free. So maybe you're stocking your uh, trendy clothes right now or you just want to uh, basically renew your wardrobe. Now in this case, there are going to be multiple ways of getting uh, clothes for free from Sheen. Well, we're giving you giving you two options here that you could try here for you to get some clothes for free in Sheen. So one of them is going to be through Sheen's affiliate program. Now, in this case, you will not be able to directly get clothes from Sheen themselves. But in this case, you'll be working with Sheen to start earning. So the more you earn from Sheen, the more that you'll be able to buy clothes in Sheen. So in this case, you might be wondering, what is an affiliate program? Well, affiliate program is a way for you to promote Sheen to other people and from then on, whenever they try actually using the links that you get from Sheen, because in this case, you'll be promoting clothes or a different type of uh, sectors or chic. For example, you specialize in women clothes or male clothes. Uh, for example, once you share your uh, links, again, you'll be getting links, which in this case, once people actually start using your links, you'll get a percentage of the purchase that they actually did. So meaning you'll be earning through purchases. So, it's kind of a passive income. Now, by the way, there's going to be a lot of uh, affiliate program tutorials that we have right now. So make sure to check our channel. Now, in this case, uh, this is, that is one of the ways of actually earning or getting free clothes from Sheen. Because sometimes they give you offers if you do well in the platform itself. Now, another way for you to start or start getting free clothes in Sheen is via the Adapol uh, website or platform. So you might be wondering, what is Adapol here? Well, Adapol is going to be a platform for you to basically just start using or taking surveys and you'll be getting paid for it, which is something really cool. So for example, just take a survey for 30 minutes and you'll be able to get payments like for $20, $30. It actually depends on the survey that you'll be getting. So with Adapol, you should be able to basically take uh, surveys because people or companies are actually doing research on specific topics or in specific demo demographics. That's why they need people to actually have a specific type of um, uh, um, data from different people. Now, in this case, you'll be getting paid for the surveys that you'll be doing and you could even cash out via people, which is something pretty cool. So, yeah. So in this case, what affiliate earnings, earnings in Adapol or via the affiliate program could actually uh, use the payment method. Like for example, in Adapol, you could, again, I said before, that you could cash out via PayPal. So you could use a PayPal account as a means of paying for clothes in Sheen here. But yeah, so those are the cool two ways of actually getting free clothes in Sheen. And that's about it. How to use a Visa gift card on Sheen. So how do you use a Visa gift card in Sheen? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So if you've used a debit or credit card before in Sheen, well, using a Visa gift card is actually pretty much the same thing. So what we need to do first is we need to access the Sheen mobile application. Now from here, log in into your account and you could go ahead and start adding the items that you want to purchase via the platform itself. Now in this case, once you've done that, we are now ready to go ahead and start buying them. Now in this case, go ahead and add them and go to your cart at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to check those items out. So let's go ahead and click on check out here. And from here, it's going to load out the order confirmation page. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to choose the appropriate payment method here. Now in this case, choose credit and debit card here and click on the add a new card. Now in the new card section, you could go ahead and just enter your card number, expiration date for that card number, and CVV of that specific Visa gift card. Now a Visa gift card would have those details on the card itself. So make sure that you look at the front section of that card as well as the very back for you to see the CVV itself. Now once you've added that, just click on confirm to add that and you could just basically click on the place order for you to use your gift card for this specific order here. And that's about it. How to add or remove credit or debit card on Sheen. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access 
our Sheen mobile app. Now in this case, let's go ahead and open up Sheen here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to somehow add some items into our cart because we need to access the payment section or payment page in order for us to delete our cart. Now in this case, go ahead and search for items that you want to add. And once you've done that, go to your cart here at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here, choose the option that says check out here. And from here, if you get this error, just click on load, reload. And what we need to do next is we need to look for the payment method section. Now, in this case, click on the drop down icon that you see next to the card that you have right there. And from here, this should actually open up your credit card option. And from here, just click on the trash can icon next to that card. And from here, it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete? Just click on confirm to delete that. And once you've done that, as you can see, we were able to delete or remove our debit card in Sheen. Now, in this case, if you want to add a new one, you could go ahead and just click on add a new card here. And as you can see, just enter your card number, the expiration date, as well as the CVV, and just hit on confirm for you to do that. And that's about it. How to change shipping address in Sheen after placing order. Now in this case, how do you change or update your shipping address whenever you've actually start or you've already placed your order? In this case, first things first, let's go ahead and open up the Sheen mobile app. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the Me tab at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, we want to view our order. So in my order section, click on the view all option. And from here, you should be able to see your current orders. Now, in this case, there are certain limitations on updating your address. Now, you can only update your shipping address if the status of the current product or your packages or your purchases are still currently in the awaiting or waiting for payment section or processing stage. Now, in this case, if it actually moves to another stage, like for example, they were already packed, then unfortunately, you won't be able to change or update the address because again, they are already packed and an address has already been sticked or was uh, added on that specific patch. You won't be able to update that. In this case, make sure that you actually access the package immediately and uh, make sure that you still or the package is still in the uh, waiting for payment section or in the processing stage for you to update the address. But in this case, if you see the edit address here, go ahead and click on it and you should be able to update your shipping address and you should be good. How to return Sheen items. So in this case, how do we return items in Sheen? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to open up the Sheen mobile app and from then on, log in into your account. Now at the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on your profile and from your profile, click on the option that says view all in the my order section. Now, once you click on it, it will redirect you to another page, but in this case, you'll be able to select items that you want to return. Now in this case, go ahead and click on the option or the item that you want to return. So in this case, you could go ahead and just click on the review option. Now from this page on, what you need to do is you need to select the items that you want to return. Click on the circular check section and from then on, you should be able to choose the reason why you want to uh, make basically return the item. So there's going to be a lot of reasons that you could return it, like for example, damage or defective, not true to size or size too long. Now, just some warning here, there are some items that you will not be able to have a return or you will not be able to have a refund on. Like that includes body suits, lingerie, underwear, jewelry, accessories, cosmetics, and pet products, which is something really unfortunate. Now, once you've selected all the items or the products that you want to return, you can go ahead and just click on the next step at the bottom right of your screen. Now from here on, just click on the OK button that you see on your screen. And in here, you should be able to see the return method. In this case, you'll be choosing the return method that you want to use for you to make a refund. Now, there are going to be a lot of ways to make a return. So you have post office or UPS store. In this case, choose the appropriate one here. So in this case, once you've chosen the type of return method that you want to use, you can go ahead and just click on confirm and fill out all the necessary details that they require. Now, it's going to give you an overview of the items that you'll be refunding. In this case, go ahead and just click on the submit button. 
Now from here on, what we need to do is you just need to basically pack the items. Now it is recommended that if you have multiple items to return, make sure that you actually uh, do the refund as a whole. So meaning uh, you'll be able to basically get a cheaper price for the shipping itself or the return of fees itself. So in this case, returning by bulk would actually save you a lot of money. Now, they will be sending you an email, which in this case, they will give you details on what to include in the package itself. So especially if you have a lot of items to return, so make sure to put them in a box so that it will not scatter around. And from then on, you should be able to make a return or refund items on Sheen. And that's about it. How to contact Sheen customer service. So how do we contact Sheen customer service? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to actually access the Sheen mobile app. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here, we need to access a specific section, which is going to be our profile, which is located at the bottom right of your screen. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here at the top right, you should notice that there is going to be a gear icon, a kind of a square icon that has a line in the middle of it, as well as a headphone icon. Now in this case, for us to contact support, we need to click on the headphones icon that you see at the top right. Now from here, what we need to do next is you need to view a few things here. Like for example, what we need to do is to basically view a few things here. So sometimes there's going to be articles that could actually help you. And in this case, it would actually in turn make it a lot easier for you. In this case, go ahead and choose the appropriate one that actually concerns your issue. Like for example, if you're having issues for like for example, payment and promos. Now in here, it's going to give you different articles regarding payment and promos. In this case, choose what applies here. Like for example, what I, on how I can, can I change my currency? You could go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's going to give you some instructions on how to do or fix this one. Now at the very bottom, you should see the contact customer service. And whenever you click on it, it should redirect you to this page here, which in this case, a chat section, which in this case, you should be able to chat with a uh, representative from she. In this case, you just need to basically have a chat with them, what's your problem, what's the issues, and they will assist you regarding your problem. Now, alternative way of accessing this page and the easiest way is going to the very bottom here. And as you can see, we now have the customer service at the bottom left or the customer service button that you see here just underneath the can't find the answer you're looking for. In this case, once you click either of the two buttons here, you should be able to see the same window, which in this case, you'll be able to have a conversation with a Sheen representative or support. And that's about it how to sell on Sheen. So in this case, you might be wondering, how do you start selling in Sheen? Well, selling in Sheen is a kind of complicated way, but I'll be showing you how to get started. So first things first is you first have to guarantee that you have an account in Sheen. So in this case, go ahead and download the Sheen mobile app. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to make sure that we have an account with them. In this case, at the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on the Me tab. And from here at the top left, you should see an option that says log in or sign up. Now in this case, go ahead and click on sign up. And from then on, just create your account or use other accounts like Google or Apple to basically create your account. But once you've created your account and you now see the hi, your name section, you're now ready to go. So let's go ahead and exit the app itself. Now from here, the next thing you wanna do is you need to open up any browser that you have on your mobile phone or in your PC. Now from here, go to Google and search for the following, which is going to be Sheen Marketplace. Now what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here and look for the option that says, says sell on Sheen Marketplace. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to view some details regarding selling on Sheen. In this case, you should be able to see different information on it, but the most important section here is going to be the apply to date button. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, it should redirect you to the Shell, uh, Sheen Marketplace sign up to sell on Sheen. Now, you need to provide some information about yourself, like your first name, last name, job title, your f email address, your phone number, your company name, company website, and a lot more. In this case, go ahead and answer all the necessary information here and submit your application. Now, once you've submitted your application, Sheen or a member or Sheen support would actually review your application and they will reach out to you via your mobile number or your email address regarding your application. So whether it's actually approved or not. But once you approve or once your account or your application is actually approved, they will give you instructions on how to get started, what websites you need to visit and URLs that is really important that you need to bookmark. But in this case, 
that's how you get started. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.